In this video, we will learn about the learner's index, its derivation and the deriva derivation of Markov factor. Okay, so we have also a question that was asked uh, by a brother. So let us see what is the question and I will derive the learner's index here. Assume that at profit maximizing level of output, the price elasticity of demand for a firm's output is being given as minus 3.6. We have the elasticity of demand is 3.6 in that case the mark of factor would be we have to find out the mark of factor options are 0 0.78 1.27 1.38 and 3.6 okay so to find out the mark of factor first we need to you know derive the learner's index okay by learner's index what we mean a learner's index shows us uh, the percentage markup that a firm is able to charge our marginal cost okay higher the value of the learner's index that means the more the firm is able to charge our its marginal cost which uh, in turn means the greater monopoly power okay so um, let's try to derive this learners index okay so we know that uh, profit profit is simply equal to total revenue okay let me write it here uh, total revenue minus total cost okay so this is the profit function you know it very well when we subtract cost from our total revenue we get the profit okay so i can write it like this profit is equal to now revenue is simply price into output okay let us say we have this cost function okay i denoted by c this is our uh, you know profit function now for profit maximization what we require we require that our marginal profit should be equal to zero okay so at you know profit maximization what we need to find out at profit maximization our you know uh, the marginal profit should be equal to zero that means we need to take the derivative of this profit function with respect to output okay and set it equal to zero now the derivative of profit function with respect to output will be that means uh, d pi upon dq should be equal to now what is the derivative of this function it is uh, you know there are two functions here we use the chain rule here how do we apply chain rule simply we write the first function let us say p and take derivative of second function so the derivative of q will be dq sorry Since we are taking with respect to uh, Q, so its derivative will be DQ upon Q, okay? Or simply we can write here, uh, the derivative of Q is 1, plus we write this uh, Q again, and take derivative of second function, that is DP upon DQ, and it should be equal to, sorry, then we have this minus the cost function taking its derivative, so dc upon dq and we set it equal to zero okay so a profit maximization our marginal profit should be equal to zero so marginal profit uh, is that means we take the derivative of profit function with respect to output okay and set it equal to zero now the derivative of this uh, p uh, q is simply first we write the first function take derivative of second function plus we write the second function and take derivative of first function minus the derivative of cost function with respect to output and set it equal to zero okay now what we are being left with here you can see we are left with p okay dq upon q is one so i will not write it here plus we have q uh, dp upon dq let me transpose this here this is dc upon dq okay now here you can see now change in cost with respect to output this derivative shows us the marginal cost okay simple thing uh, it is our cost function its derivative with respect to output gives us the marginal cost so i can write it like this p plus q times dp upon dq should be equal to the marginal cost okay so we are just trying to derive the learner's index and then i will derive the markov factor okay now doing some 
usual stuff and just um, uh, transpose this marginal cost here it will become negative so we have p minus mc is equal to and i will transpose this term to rhs it will become negative here so we have minus q dp upon dq okay after that what will i do i will uh, you know divide both sides by p okay dividing uh, this equation both sides by p means we have here p and here we also divide with p okay i hope i am making myself clear now if you can see here we are we have here minus q upon p into dp upon dq okay this is uh, you know familiar to us but uh, there is some manipulation being done had been done here so you know that price elasticity is being given by dq upon dp into p upon q so we have here all the stuff uh, you know in a uh, reciprocal here okay so this denotes our price elasticity of demand and but we are being given this so in place of this i can write it like this i can write it like this one upon okay uh, dq upon dp into p upon q okay can i write it uh, this uh, i'm uh, i'm uh, talking about this can or can't i uh, write it in this form simple mathematics okay so no bugwas and this is simply one upon elasticity okay so if i try to take the absolute value i can write it here like this if i you know write it in absolute form this is our elasticity so in place of this i can write it like this I, so let me write it here that means our p minus mc upon p should be equal to 1 upon e okay this is absolute value here now this is our typical learners index okay and this this term shows us the markup okay so this is called markup markup what does this what does this tell us it simply tells us the percentage amount the price is above the marginal cost okay so it shows us percentage amount by which our price is above the marginal cost and you can see this markup is inversely related to elasticity of demand okay so the and the less the price elasticity of demand the more markup we have or this is also called you know this stuff is called learners index learners index as i had told earlier that um, learners index shows us percentage markup that a firm is able to charge our marginal cost okay so this is our learners index so i can write it like this let me write it here so in place of this if i write l is equal to one upon e you can see there is inverse relationship between learners index and price elasticity of demand higher the value of learners index the more the firm is able to charge our it is marginal cost that means greater the monopoly power okay that means uh, if we have less uh, less elastic uh, demand we have more monopoly power okay so uh, if we have you know inelastic demand our monopoly power will be greater if we have in a you know elastic uh, demand our monopoly power will be less there is negative relationship okay now this was the, our learners index and its relationship with price elasticity of demand now what we need to see we just need to you know find out the markup factor markup factor what the question was talking about so 
how do we calculate a Markov factor so let's um, take this equation again so if I write it like this so if I write it like this P upon P minus MC upon P I am just expanding this is equal to 1 upon E okay P and P will get khatam cancel so we are left with 1 minus MC upon P is equal to 1 upon E okay now if I transpose this here this here so we have 1 minus 1 upon E is equal to MC upon P so solving this again so this is E minus 1 upon E E minus 1 upon E is equal to MC upon P okay now I can do one thing if I reciprocate on both sides problem is not I can do it okay so reciprocating both sides uh, this will become uh, e upon e minus 1 is equal to p upon mc okay so I can write uh, p is equal to this p is equal to transposing this mc here this will become mc uh, times uh, e upon e minus 1 okay now what is our markup factor this uh, shows our markup factor this uh, portion this is our markup mark up factor and what does this tell us it simply tells us how much you know how much uh, greater is our price above the marginal cost or it uh, this factor shows us uh, by which factor our price is greater than marginal cost now let's come to the question i have just derived this very stuff and uh, one thing that i forget to you know explain it here is that higher the uh, you know if uh, higher is higher the price elasticity of demand okay lower is our learners index means lower is our monopoly power okay now coming to the question so what we were being given we were being given the price elasticity of demand is equal to minus 3.6 i can write it in absolute form is 3.6 okay so this is our elasticity of demand and we were being told what is our markup here okay so what will be our markup here let's try to calculate here markup so markup is being given by i hey markup factor is equal to e upon e minus 1 so we have e is 3.6 upon 3.6 minus 1 this comes out to be 3.6 upon 2.6 which comes out to be uh, 1. I guess I have calculated it uh, 1.38 okay so our markup is 1.38 okay now what exactly does this mark of factor tell us it simply tells us by by what factor our price is greater than marginal cost okay let me give another example to make them more to make this uh, things you know easier okay let's take a take an example let us say we have marginal cost marginal cost is equal to 9 okay and let us say our price elasticity of demand is equal to 4 okay then what will be our uh, markup so our markup let me denote it by m e will be equal to e that is 4 upon uh, you know e minus 1 that is uh, 4 minus 3 which comes out to be 4 upon 1 
sorry it is 4 minus 1 so this is 4 upon 4 upon 3 so this is our mark of factor that means that means our price using this way relationship our price will be equal to you know our marginal cost that is 9 times mark of factor that is 4 upon 3 okay 3 ones are 3 threes are 9 so we got price will be equal to 3 fours are 12 okay here you can see simply our price is 12 marginal cost is 9 okay and in this case 4 upon 3 will be i'm not sure what is 4 upon 3 so 4 upon 3 go 4 as karo 3 3 as karo 4 say 3 ones are 3 at the fear of up yet could point yet was 0 3 threes are 9 so here uh, if i want to interpret this mark of factor in this case if i want to interpret a mark of factor i can write it like this uh, p is equal to 1.33 uh, times marginal cost okay so this 1.33 which we calculated is our marginal uh, you know sorry mark of factor which is equal to e upon e minus 1 it shows by what factor our sorry by what factor our price is greater than marginal cost okay here it simply says our price is 1.33 times greater than marginal cost and you can check it here so p will be equal to this is mark of 1.33 times marginal cost is 9 which will come out to be 12 okay so uh, this is how do we calculate first the learner's index and from that i have calculated the mark of factor okay so um, the learner's index will lie between you know 0 and 1 and in case of uh, we have learner's index is equal to zero uh, it will be the case of perfect competition in case of perfect competition learner's index will be zero that means price minus mc upon p that means i am in case of perfect competition you know price is equal to marginal cost okay so if price is equal to marginal cost that means if price is equal to marginal cost i can write so let me write it here uh, okay if price is equal to marginal cost though so in place of mc i can write p so we have p minus p upon p is equal to zero because p upon asha it button woman is zero okay so in case of perfect competition we know price and marginal cost are same then our learners index will be zero and in case of pure a monopoly theory for more videos on mathematical economics please subscribe this channel like comment and share also thank you